every project we do, whether it's a main brand or a Copa brand or food brand, is, starts with research. Like, I think there's this myth that like creative people just sort of it comes out of the sky. You pull this inspiration out of nothing. No, no, no. Put some music on. No, no. Creativity is how you digest the world, how you process the world. And if we're going to tell these stories in an authentic way, we have to ingest. We have to have a healthy diet of, you have of to information. Go. We have to physically go. We have to talk to experts. We have to be guided by people that really know what they're talking about. Yeah. So every project has that foundation. So it's all about first starting off with immersive research and you, you know we go to the towns, we eat at the Greasy Spoons, we talk with fans and sponsors and then we sit down and we you know um, we hear what the community has said about what type of names that they want and we decide what is the story that we want to tell and it's got to be authentic it can't be something that we think you know oh that would be really cool for that community it has to speak to that community and so when we decide once we decide what that story that we're going to tell is and, um, and, and the name, you know, we'll go back to the studio and we hit the drawing board. And it's like a shotgun approach of sketch concepts. So we don't even say whether this is gonna appear on a uniform or in the team store. It's like, let's just tell the story, let's get it on paper and... Yeah, and designing a minor league logo is not like designing a corporate logo, right? Or a sports logo in general, is not like designing a corporate logo. It's not about super simple, clean, how do we ratchet down something to, you know, to something that is like this very simple, pristine, uh, pristine yeah. thing. It's not, it isn't like, like, we're telling a story. It's, it's, it's somewhere between illustration and logo. I mean, it has to still work as a Twitter icon and look good on a hat from 50 yards, but it also needs to tell a really complex story. So there's a lot of moving parts. There's like, what storytelling elements are we gonna bring in? You know, oh, oh, remember that one crazy poster we saw in that greasy spoon in, you know, right outside of town? Like, we gotta pull that in somehow. Um, so, yeah, so we try to decide all those elements. Then we take it into the computer after we sort of have our direction. And from there, we clean up the artwork, we deal with colors. Once colors happen, that's where sort of uniforms start to begin. And there's fabric swatches and trim and, you know, materials. It's, it's really evolved. Yeah, and we always try to come up with something. What's something unusual? Can we do something unusual with the uniforms? Something that gets people talking? Like, we want layers to the brand. Always trying to infuse new things. You know, we have 160 teams out there, there's 160 unique stories to tell. Um, everyone deserves their own ideas and their own fun twist on what it means to be a minor league baseball team. So, so we're always trying to improve our process, of course, and, and, and we're trying to stay relevant, we're trying to keep things fresh, and that includes how we conceptualize the designs. And, you know, we started out sketching, you know, I went to art school and, you know, did tons of figure drawing. We, I, drawing is my favorite thing in the world. That's why I love my job, is that I get to draw every day. But, you know, we've tried to, you know, draw on iPads, draw on the computer. <clears throat> Can we, you know, use collage? We've tried a thousand different things. It all goes back to the pencil and paper. The pencil and paper is the best way to quickly get your ideas down, to quickly explore, like, what's gonna look best. And um, I the, just the, don't... The computer's a great tool to be able to clean it up and make it, you know, uh, able for production. But if you start in the computer, I feel like sometimes there's a little bit of cheating you can do. You can't, there's an authenticity and there's a, an approach and a, a view and the volume and, the, and the, how the character feels that really is best suited by starting from hand. These ideas start with our trips and then they end up in our sketchbooks. And then, you know, they end up on our computers in our office here in San Diego, and then they're sent off to manufacturers, and then the next thing you know, you know, it's on the field, it's in Sports Center. It's a very surreal, it's a very surreal process to see your work be loved and appreciated and, you know, show up on hats all over the world. And it's, it's a really, we're so lucky we get to do what we do. From a technical standpoint, it's, you have to, merge a lot of different elements often into a logo. Mm. You know, like a, a trash can lid and a calculator and a raccoon and a tail. Like, how do you go about trying to get all these elements in mm. 
without it look like a painting? I mean, that's the challenge, right? So it's like, how do we reduce it down? Like, how do you distill it down? How do you arrange, you know, how do you arrange everything? It is, uh, there is like a flower arrangement element yeah. <laughs> to, the, to the logo design, to, the, to minor league sports logo like, design Like, can process. the chihuahua look like a chihuahua without seeing right. its body? That's right. I can, mean, you, we, can you tuck its arm around? Yeah, and there are limitations. We run into limitations all the time where it's like, oh, I want, you know, oh, I have this crazy idea. I want to see it and it just, it's too much or it just doesn't work for yeah. the whole process. So, yeah. Yeah, that balance of like, what do you cut, leave in? What do you leave out? How can we reduce this thing down even, even tighter, tighter, tighter? That, that I think is a key point is how do you reduce it in a way that it still tells the story with the least amount of elements? That in the simplicity of it, the least amount of elements, but you still, it still is a quick read as to what we're talking about. Yep, that is that tightrope that we're always trying to walk, yeah. yeah.